Hey, Ronnie. Hey, Luke. You like your neighbors? I do. Oh, sure. <laughs> yes. Sure Jason, you if you're watching, I love you guys. <laughs> I, you know, can I come right out and say this? I have a next door neighbor who is a royal pain in my ass. Constantly. You said it. He's always got to come out and see what you're doing. He, he puts his garbage cans out on Saturday morning, and garbage day is Monday. Oh, dang. Okay? If, if one of my boys is working on their car, he's got to come over and make sure it's not too big of a, a project that he shouldn't be doing in the driveway. Ah. Yeah. In a perfect world, we would all live in sitcom-level neighborhoods with perfectly groomed lawns, picture-perfect houses, and more importantly, friendly neighbors who you actually want to run into when you're taking your dog on a walk. Not in my neighborhood. Mm. Today, neighborhood horror stories that are gonna make you cringe. I'm cringing a little already. And we have the president of a homeowners association right here. Yep. Next, Men Are So Smart. Don't miss this show. Well, hi there, and welcome to another episode of Men Are So Smart. I'm Lou Gallagher. I'm Corvette Ronnie. We're so glad you're here. Thank you for giving us your time today. Uh, do you live in a rough neighborhood? <laughs> yeah, I do. If you live in a neighborhood at all. Yeah, it's it's yeah. pretty checkerboard at yeah. this point. Every no matter where your neighbors fall on the scale of horror, uh, these neighborhood nightmares, prepare to cringe, may make the oddball who lives next door seem well normal. And that's really saying something. So now, let's see where your neighbors stack up and get a good laugh out of some of these typical neighbors in neighborhoods. Ronnie, you got the first one. Uh, it's the cat lady. I got a cat lady, lives next door. Her cats yep. roam everywhere. <laughs> Thanks to Reddit user throwaway CA91's third floor neighbor, the entire apartment building had an unpleasant aroma of, wait for it. Oh, I know. Cat pee. Yeah. Boy, that is a pungent, pungent smell. After complaining to the building's office for two years straight, uh -huh. throwaway CA91 called animal control officers who found 30, 30 cats in her apartment. 30 cats? Who needs 30 cats? You, there's not a cat litter box big enough. No. You could put a bathtub full of cat litter would not be big enough for 30 cats. Next up on our list of really bad neighbors, the pet poisoner. Oh boy, if I you see ever, that. You ever seen this? And never find the body. At a standard vet visit, the vet advised this person to stop feeding the dog human food, which confused them since they only fed their dog a strict dog food only diet. Turns out the neighbor who regularly called the police about the white Labrador's behavior, which was very sweet and not aggressive at all, was feeding it food scraps, mop water, and other harmful things over the fence. Let me catch you one time, and I swear to God, you're going to be uh, eating that food. Yep. Uh, I would... Oh, I do would not have... do that to pets. Yeah. Yeah, that's not a good deal. Next up. Uh, the skunk lady. Okay. This is worse, slightly worse than the cat lady. Could be. Yeah. Uh, this user writes that an old neighbor used to feed local skunks. Who the hell does that? It's crazy. And the smelly animals would hang around their apartment buildings as a result. Yeah, they're kind of like cats. And they do smell. Uh, my then boyfriend used to have to carry a flashlight to avoid startling wait, one. Wait, 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 wait. I didn't know you had a boyfriend. Well, sorry. Oh, yeah, okay. this was my experimental phase. Yeah, I understand. <laughs> <laughs> he used to have to carry a flashlight to avoid startling one and getting a face full of stink. Yeah, I can imagine that would be true. I mean, you're walking out to take the garbage out one night, bammo. Uh, I, and we have skunks here. Not a big problem, but they do root around through my landscaping. Yeah, you got a big ass field over there too. Yeah. That's where they come from. We we have every type of animal imaginable in this area. I heard coyotes the other night about three a.m. They must have grabbed somebody's cat or oh, no. something. And uh, yeah, you got to watch that in this neighborhood yep. with your animals. Yep. Next up is the cameraman. Oh. Um, when this Reddit user was young. A neighbor built a deck that crossed into their yard. Why? I don't know. The user's family ultimately had to get the city involved to force the neighbor to make this deck smaller, which he didn't like one bit. 
When the user's family came back from vacation, they found a sign on the neighbor's fence that said, Peekaboo, I see you, I'm going to creep you out, uh, and a collection of new security cameras pointed into their yard. So there you go. They got even. You didn't like their deck? Yeah. We're going to put cameras up, and we see you, yep. everything you do. Kind of, Kind of crazy, though. Uh, and you know what? I actually spent part of my career in law enforcement as what we called a pop officer, which is problem-oriented policing. Oh, okay. And we dealt with this type of stuff, neighbor versus neighbor. Mm -hmm. uh, spy versus spy? It's very like that. Yeah, there's a lot of dynamite changing hands. Yeah. Uh, and you know what? I would tell people, is this the way you really want to live your life? Right, every day. Getting up every day and trying to outdo your neighbor on the mean scale? Mm hmm or you could just, man, my neighbor's here. It's live in mutual peace. It's wonderful. It's wonderful. We don't always we don't see eye to eye politically, which is fine. I have no problem with people's political agenda. Right. But we don't force it down anybody's throat. Bingo. Uh, everybody is just really nice. We have street barbecues out here about once a month where we all get together and laugh, and it's wonderful. All right, this next one, this might be. This might be one of my neighbors. It's the negligent dog owner. Oh, I know where this is going. Every year, this Reddit user's parents would have to pay to replace the fence between their yard and the neighbor's yard, since the neighbor's dog would completely destroy it. Uh, and even though the fence was shared property, the neighbor would refuse to split the cost. Uh, it wasn't until a branch from a neighbor's large tree uh, killed her pet boxer that the fence damage stopped. Mm -hmm. Wow. So <clears throat> we have a neighbor that just moved in, and he's a wonderful guy. He's former military. I love him. They've got four dogs, and they're all little yippy dogs. And my dog used to go out there and bark one time, and then all four dogs come to the fence. Naturally. And then they start a fence war. Right. So every time my dog barked, I'd put her leash on her, bring her in, and she was grounded. She was on a timeout for 10 minutes. So now... No TV. Now my dog doesn't go out there and bark. Now she scratches at the oh. fence. And they same reaction. All four dogs come up to the fence and doesn't start Doesn't have barking. to bark, though. Yeah. Right. My so, dog's not barking. No. Uh, the lazy lawnmower. Oh. Yeah. Uh, those are the neighbors that never do any yard work. When the user couldn't stand the out-of-control grass growth any longer, they began cutting the grass in his front lawn for this person. He let the grass in his backyard grow to six feet tall. The user writes, which resulted in tons of mosquitoes that swarmed neighboring yards on wet days. Huh. So how did he repay his neighbors for that favor? At one point, he was stealing their water which drove up their water bill. Jeez. Okay, you're not wa you're you're not mowing your lawn, but you're watering it. Yeah. Okay, makes sense to me. <laughs> yeah. Perfect. Okay. Uh, this one is boy, and I haven't seen anything like this even in law enforcement. The brick thrower. I don't know what you mean. Okay. When this ready user was growing up, their next door neighbor made it clear to the to his parents that they didn't like kids. Uh. This neighbor yelled at their kids and when they played outside and even threw things over the fence at them. Wow. Thankfully, this, uh, the, the mother came to the rescue one time after the neighbor threw a brick over the fence. A literal brick. Yes. So mom stormed, stormed, stormed over for a stern conversation, which caused the neighbor to move out a week later. Good. Good riddance. I, I got to tell you, one of my pop stories that was so great this is, it's not really a retirement uh, community per se, but it's a lot of older residents in there. It just worked out that way. Two older widowers, two men, they live next door to each other. And one of them, he put out, uh, he had bird feeders all over the place. And he also fed uh, squirrels. So... There was constantly birds and squirrels. Huh, imagine that. In the proximity. 
and they were digging up plants in the other neighbor's yard. Oh, squirrels, yeah. And poop. Then the, the birds were pooping all over his deck. Mm -hmm. So there was a lot of tension. And I went over and talked to each of them individually. And as I talked to them, I noticed golf clubs in both of their garages. And they weren't tucked away like mine are. They were right up front. So obviously they're golfing quite a bit. So I said, hey, here's the deal. Why don't you, you know, stop attracting the squirrels? And then his plants, oh, and the other thing was, this other neighbor was accused, although not, we couldn't prove it, of shooting birds with a BB gun. And, so, and this guy loved the birds. Yeah. So there was a lot of tension between them. So anyway, I found out they're both avid golfers. I go... How many times have you had to go and sit and wait for somebody? You know, hey, mind if I, you know, tag along with you guys when you shoot? You have a you have a built-in golf partner right next door. They became they sent me a letter probably about six months later. They were best buddies. They golfed like twice a week. Like, oh, perfect. Thank you. That's and you know what? That that's a happy story. Not to mention the fact that golf is one of the greatest sports in the entire world. You can play it at any age. And you know what? It's such a game of integrity that you keep your own score. Right. Yeah. And what you learn when you're golfing with three other persons that either you know or don't know is you know and learn a lot about their integrity. Yep. Just by simply playing the game. Do they kick the ball? <laughs> are they fudging it with their foot? You know, are, are they, they digging their ball out of the sand trap with their pitching wedge? Yeah, are they touching the sand with the club they're not supposed to? Anyway, <laughs> it, that'll bring us to the conclusion of today's show on Neighbors. We hope that you live in a sanctimonious uh, neighborhood and have none of these problems, or people for that matter. Yep. Um, be a good neighbor. Try to be conscientious of other people's feelings. Not that hard. It really isn't. Um, you know, mow your lawn. If you see your neighbor's garbage cans sitting out, push him back. I do. I do too. And even though I can't stand him, yeah, I put cool. his cans back because that's what neighbors do. Yeah. You know, if we all tried that, this world might be a little better place. Tiny bit. We hope that we uh, we hope that we brought you some good content today, and you've enjoyed listening to our story about bad neighbors. We hope you're not one. <laughs> no. Uh, check out our website. If you're a bad neighbor unsubscribe right now yeah we don't want you no we don't need it <laughs> we don't need it uh www.menaresosmart.com on facebook at men are so smart email address is lou at men are so smart com and ronnie r-o-n-n-i-e at men are so smart com thank you again sincerely for watching today we do appreciate it if you haven't already done so please subscribe to our channel i'm lou gallagher i am corvette ronnie we'll see you on the next men are so smart bye See what I did there. <laughs> <laughs>